Jody Escobel, thank you for the time. We're going to see you back in action here at UFC 241. How you feeling? How's camp been going? I feel good. I feel uh, like I had just amount of the right amount of time off, and uh, camp's been great. We have a bunch of people here from across the world in camp right now. Good female team, and uh, yeah, I'm ready. Three tough fights to start out <laughs> your UFC career, and I mean Angela Hill. It's a interesting matchup. Same thing with Carolina. Yeah. You got two of the tougher strikers you could face. What have you learned from these first three fights? Not to mention Jessica Aga. I mean, these have been some amazing dream matchups. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it's great. You know, um, I've learned a lot. I, I feel like I've had a tough go, honestly. But that's cool. Like, I'm in a better place now because of it. And, um... It's made me a better fighter, and I've found out a lot about myself through those fights, and um, it's it's great. Like I, I'm I'm very thankful for the road that I've been given. So it's cool. And now we headed to this fight, Hannah Cyphers. What do you think of the match? Uh, what do you think about her? We saw her even out here locally. She found me training partners that we had here at the Jackson Arena in 2018. So I feel like I'm close to her. We've seen her striking at that lethal matchup. Yeah, I think it's a great matchup. Um, I think that it, I've always wanted somebody that was going to stand in front of me. You know, like I felt like I was chasing, kind of chasing the other opponents down and uh, Hannah is definitely one to stand and bang and so um, I, I, I feel like it's going to be a great fight and she's super strong she's, 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 it's a great 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 matchup for me how much do you feel your footwork is going to oh. play a factor in this fight I feel like you have a, a, a dynamic advantage yeah no question um, you can't just uh I mean, that's years and years and years and years of training footwork, and um, I'm confident in my footwork, and you're right about that. I think that my footwork alone can beat the fight. Um, however, like, uh, I know that my striking can beat the fight. I know my wrestling can. I know my jujitsu can. I know all that. However, um, hands down, my footwork and my athleticism, day and night. Yeah, no question. What have been some of the... Bigger glaring opportunities you've seen compared to this fight you're facing the You know, I've never been super big about, yeah, we study and, and whatever, but it's, it's more about making myself better. Um, better than the time I, I just fought Hill and, and what can I change and, and be better in myself. And, and there were some big, big, big things I needed to change, so I did. I did that, and I think changes in myself will exploit what, what she brings to the table. Bringing my, my best self is, is a bad night for her, for sure. And what's going to be key to allowing you to do that to be the best Jody in the world? Just letting go, you know, a lot of fighters talk about that. Like, uh, I have everything. I have years of martial arts. I have um, the experience. I have the fights. I have, I, you know, um, I've been in there. Um, so let's just put it all together and, and uh, allow that wisdom to uh, shine come Saturday night. And back to the first three fights, has it been motivating or more frustrating these first three outcomes? Uh, that's a good question. I think maybe you asked that at a different time and I would say frustrating, but now that I'm um, where I am now and, and see the bright side of everything, um, motivating, absolutely. I've been in there with the best of them and, and um, I've stood my ground and I, I didn't perform to my potential and had I, you know, who knows? And and uh, I'm not going to allow myself that who knows anymore and, and it's just going to be me performing and, and I'm thankful for those three fights. It's cool. How hard was it though mentally getting getting to a place where you had that? It's answer? work. It's work. It's hard work. You know, it's uh, fighting is mental, and um, you got to put the time in, just like you put the time in the in the gym and hit the mitts and, and run and train and all that. You you got to find yourself in a in a positive light in your head because that's the only person you bring in there with you, and that and uh, you got to make sure that's right. I'm sure there's a ton of adjustments that you can't mention. Is there 
specific for Hannah, but if there's something you can mention. Yeah, just um, mental adjustments. You know, making sure that uh, I am in the right place mentally to allow myself to perform, and, and that's huge. That alone, I probably could have just trained mental for the for this whole fight, and and it would have helped. You know, like I said, I've I've put the hours in here. I've I've thrown the millions of jabs. I've thrown all the punches and the kicks, and and. Um, just putting it all together, and I, I think I found that. So I found it. I'm ready. Was there something in, in the UFC experience that was different that threw off the game? Was it the matchups? No. Um, and I don't ever feel like my mental game was off. I just don't feel like it was 100% developed. Like I just wasn't there yet. I didn't write my story yet. And um, I didn't know how to write my story. You know, I, I uh, thought that. I always knew that I wanted to be in the UFC. I always knew this and that, but but like, did I really write my story? Did I direct it? Did I make sure that my cast was correct? All the things, and, and now I'm in charge, and, and uh, I'm writing my story, I'm ready. I just wasn't ready then, I'm ready now. Now how do you display that readiness? How are we gonna see that in the fight? Uh, it's, it, it'll be a different fighter. It, you know, uh, however many years that, that I've been around as a professional athlete, um, it'll be a different me. It's it's uh, my masterpiece, you know, and I'm ready to show that to everybody. We're two weeks out from the fight, and it, it, smiling, you having this this moment right now. I think that's a good sign. We see usually at this point, this yeah. is the grind. This is when fighters are like, I'm ready now, and I can't even bear the preparation week and the weight cutting week. But you look yeah. happy right now. Yeah, I'm ready. We're writing the story. It's cool. Yeah. Awesome, thank you for the time. Cool. Thank you.